somebody's coming. It's okay. I don't think I'll be busted. Well, it's Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2020, and I'm sat in the car park of the Heath Hospital waiting for Sean to get back because she's just been into work that she works here to deliver the gifts that she bought for the neonatal patients who are all the babies that were born who were too sick to go straight home and her and her colleagues do an excellent job year round to make sure that these babies are taken care of uh, and hopefully eventually sent home with their parents healthy and happy. And who are these for? Um, all the babies on the neonatal unit in the Heath Hospital card. And that's all funded um, by the charity Skips, which is our neonatal charity, and people can donate to us any way they can. We've just been into Marks and Spencers to pick up our turkey. We were due to go in last night, but the floods in Wales prevented us from doing so. We had so much rain yesterday that all of the roads out of Barry, where I live, um, were closed. So I thought I'd do a 2020 year in review final wrap up wish everybody a merry christmas i'm thrilled with the way that my channel has grown this year i did have a target to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year i haven't made it i think i've got currently 811 so i'm very grateful for everybody who does watch this channel and watch these videos and i do hope you get something from them but for the past couple of months i've just had no time to put into to content creation whatsoever really which is a great shame so in 2021 i hope to do more of this kind of thing i hope to i mean you've got great videos to look forward to like should you play the lottery <laughs> that's about the only thing i've got in mind at the moment more personal finance content as i continue to learn through my journey and definitely more content related to health and well-being in 2021 sean and i have made a pact we're going to write out an agreement of the things that we want to achieve this year and an agreement of the the behaviors that we'll avoid in order to get where we want to be getting back into a healthy body maintaining a healthy mindset and of course developing healthy attitudes towards personal finance money and learning learning a lot about investing saving uh, generosity one thing that i'd wish i'd done more of this year is probably given more <laughs> Usually I set aside a certain amount of money each week for charitable giving or acts of random kindness. But this year, because everything was so unusual, basically life was disrupted for this whole year. We were talking about it this morning, how quickly this year has gone and how we've achieved really nothing in it. You know, this year was a write-off for us. We could easily just cancel it out and say it never happened. But yeah, charitable giving is something that I sort of let fall by the wayside this year. So uh, at the end of the year now, probably this afternoon, I'm going to donate some of the money to cover the gifts that Sean has bought for the babies on the Neonates unit to the Skips charity. If you would like to also donate to this charity, it's a very good one. Obviously, the money is going to families that need a little bit of support, not only at Christmas, but throughout the year. So I'll put links in the description for that if you would like to, by all means, do so. Uh, but there's no obligation. This year has been very tricky. Obviously, everybody's been in a similar boat. What with COVID, people have been worried about losing their jobs or um, their personal health or the health of their loved ones, not even not being able to see their loved ones even. Personally for us, without going into too much detail, we were very fortunate that my mother was able to have all of her cancer treatments at the beginning of the year. We were very grateful for that because obviously we thought that COVID might throw up a roadblock to that, but... I'm happy to say, I'm very, very happy to say that my family at the moment are all happy and healthy uh, and doing fine. So again, big thank you to the NHS. We've had excellent treatment from the GP who, who referred my mum to be diagnosed, to the diagnosis, to the treatment. We've had incredible treatment. I could not be more grateful about that. So that was a bit of good news after the bad news. And then personally, Sean and I have been through two miscarriages, which has taken a real heavy toll on Sean. She's she's done remarkably well through both of them. She's handled it like a, a true champion. I've been as supportive as I possibly can, but at times I felt like I couldn't really do much besides make her pancakes <laughs> and uh, just stuff chocolate in her mouth to try and make her feel better. But we've got through that and I'm, I'm proud to say that we did it as a team. Dexter, we lost Dexter in November. He suddenly passed away while walking on the beach. That was pretty horrific and you know, one of the worst days this year. So we've had a, a few uh, trials and tribulations. The point of all this is to say that, you know, I'm sat here in a car park 
while my girlfriend goes in to give presents to sick babies and their families. Despite all of the negative things that have happened this year to us personally and to everybody around the world, I think it, it does us well to remember that there's always somebody who may be in a worse off position than we are. And I know that's hard to hear for people who are going through something tragic personally at the time, but I think it's important to count our blessings Remember what's important. Family and friends are important. Christmas presents aren't important. It doesn't matter if you weren't able to get out and do your Christmas shopping this year, really. As long as you get to, to tell the people that you love that you love them. I think that makes sense. I'm not sure I had anything else to say. I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas. I hope everybody gets to see their family and their loved ones as as much as they'd hoped, as easily as they'd hoped. I'm fortunate that my loved ones, my family live close by. Same for Sean's family, and we will get to see them, even if it is at a distance and wearing masks. The important thing is that we'll be in each other's company. Have a wonderful Christmas. Have an excellent new year. Take care of yourselves. Please be safe this Christmas. I hope you get to spend time doing what you love with who you love, because it's not been a very good year for that. I'll be back in January with a fresh perspective, and hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> and hopefully a, uh, a steadfast, resolute determination to be in a better position at the end of 2021 than I am in 2020. Merry Christmas. Sean's back. I was talking about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What were you saying? Just saying how, what a wonderful job you and all your mates do and work. Year, year round, not just at Christmas when the families oh, need support. We just all got given a present from Noah's Ark, and that is the charity of the Children's Hospital. A badge. This is a little token of appreciation for you, an extraordinary person at the end of what has been an extraordinary year. As a charity, we have felt more proud than ever in 2020 to support the work you do, even if sometimes it's been from afar. The rainbow is a symbol of hope, which is probably why it's been so widely used during the last nine months. It also appears in both your logo and ours. The circular rainbow is to symbolize that we as a charity are always here, ready to support you as a hospital in the amazing care of your kids. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>